Hi, uh, this is uh, Drunder. Uh, I wanted to showcase a little bit of the game I've been working on, a little bit of the, of the stages I've made for this project, but uh, to give you all uh, a quick breakdown first. This is a 2D fighting game, a tag team, 2D tag team fighting game, inspired by the great 2D tag team fighting games of the late 90s. Uh, I've been working on this project uh, since roughly 2010 when I first got Game Maker and I, and I decided to try to see if I could make a 2D fighting game with it and a lot of people said that making a 2D fighting game on Game Maker was gonna be hard and it was but I uh, I did eventually pick up enough uh, skill in in the in the program to to make uh, a fighting game, uh, and uh, this version of the project started in uh, July. I've been doing different versions of it and then going back and when 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 they didn't satisfy me and going back and starting over. But I don't think I'm starting over with this one because it's it's doing pretty well so far. Uh, I've got like. 20 something like prototype characters and, and like eight stages all based uh, all the characters are based on public domain superheroes that because I wanted to be like a licensed game but it's not not really licensed so let's go with those stages huh uh, yeah but let's see some of the characters in here. Eventually, I want to do a video where I uh, discuss the characters uh, specifically and the moves they're gonna have and things like that. But at this point, in 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 things, uh, we're not there yet. Uh, some of the characters some have some problems with them that I need to work on first before we can get to doing that. Let's go with those stages. First, we have the battle base. Right, the battle base is uh, there's not much to say that the name doesn't describe. It's, it's you're outside of a highly fortified uh, mountain fortress. You know, really toyetic. These are just placeholder graphics for it. Eventually, when when I do get around to making. Yeah, graphics or when I hire somebody to do it you just replace these uh, these placeholder versions with uh, with the real deal that's, that's why I make it like this I make them simple so that you know that stuff is supposed to go in there uh, and eventually you I don't know why this is one I record in full screen I don't like it a dying planet this is a stage that I, I wanted to put in a game for a while now just uh just a uh, a bunch of lava on an ice planet just melting away all of the of the glaciers and stuff this is something I wanted to see in a game for a while I don't know if there's a stage like this probably right people have been making stages for a while now something like this probably exists at some point but yeah I know it doesn't make a lot of, of, of physical sense better to be ice on lava whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't need to think about that, you're, you're in a fighting game. There's no time for that. But I really like, like, would like to see like the contrast of it, like, like you know, like hot boiling lava on an ice, and probably some vapor coming up from there. I really like this stage. This is one uh, that's uh, 
you're on, on you're on a, like walking on a missile and like going somewhere you know something really superhero -y, you know you might see like I think if this happens like Captain America The original or the remake, uh, but something like that, you know, where, where it's like a sense of danger. You're not just like, oh, these guys met in the middle of the street and they're looking it out like, like you don't just make like stages, you make like scenarios. You're you're like, I don't know why these guys are fighting on, on top of a missile, but uh, but it's interesting. All right, let's go. You got the the battalion uh, headquarters. This is uh, like the headquarters of, of of a bunch of evil guys. It's like like a Legion of Doom type stuff. And you see them all gathered in here, or maybe you don't see them because they're it's just placeholders. But uh, yeah, that's the kind of place where like superhero fight would take place. You can see a guy behind there. Eventually, you will, he will be like animated so that he's like gesturing and stuff. And you can also see here. Let me see if I can move a little to the right. Okay. You can see they got like like a woman kidnapped in there. You know the kind of stuff that that you might see in. in in a bad guy lair. There might be other details. We also got like a stage street. This street is, is inspired by various backgrounds from other fighting games, no, from other non fighting games. I mean, I guess you could, you could call Street Fighter 2010 a fighting game if you want to. I don't know if that's a debate, but like, probably not. <laughs> so you got like these city streets where you can see all this kind of stuff. And eventually they, they will be like animated elements in there. Which is just so I can get a, a sense of I got I do this this place all the graphics so that I can replace them later. Once I get the real ones first. Once I get the real ones. I will just replace these. Replace this one with, with a yeah. So I wanted to make a desert stage, but in order to not make it so plain. I decided to litter it with uh, references to, to like Marvel's Capcom 2 and you got like like a metal hand like from from Abyss. And 
you know, like, like one of the columns from his stage and you got the clock tower right there in the bottom you know so instead of just being like like a desert it's like a weird place full of, of stuff that got you wondering how it got there and I wanted to make a mountain in the bottom yeah to, to break it up mostly The museum exhibition is a is a really fun one. Uh, uh, I wanted to make like a museum two superheroes in in this superhero universe because they're they're so so relatively important in, in that universe that they got like a museum to them with all these little Easter eggs and and nods to other stuff like stuff that I'm not gonna directly reference, but you can probably like. Right, you know. You can probably guess yourself what, what this is. This all reference to. Please don't sue me. Uh you can you can sue me for this. Uh, this is a uh, like the gauntlet of fun. Paladin a cacique, which is not public domain. But I want it to be like an easter egg to it. Over here we got like um uh, Airboy's plane. Uh, Airboy was was a character in the forties. And we got like like Hitler's Rex from from Boy King and Giant. Uh, I know that's a confusing combination of words, but. But uh, there was a comic called Boy King and, and Giant, and they fought like a gigantic robot Nazi fucking dinosaur. And I thought like if if that if that had happened in in like in this universe, they would probably have it in like in a museum. Uh, so I put it in there. supposed to be uh, an elevator stage and, and eventually when it's completed you, you'll be able to stop in the different rooms like and and, and see you know all the different all the different kind of things that's going on in this stage that's gonna be like a prison and there's like a riot going on and, and you can see like like it's a super villain prison so you can see like the super villains in there uh i don't know why it's not showing me that because it i had i had it working the last time i i i saved this game but uh it, it it looked great when it was working. I mean, obviously it's placeholder graphics, but 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 it really looked like like you were in like in an elevator, seeing the different different uh, different floors of this of this underground prison. And finally there's this, which is supposed to be the, the 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 stage for the final boss. I wanted to make something really unique with it. So so I went with a forward movement kind of theme. 
Where, you know, it looks like you're traveling towards something. And while and I, I did a, a trick with the graphics, where these are, these, you see this green wall here? This purple stuff is just the same wall but, but purple. And it's just draw, showing you a part of it. And so it looks like movement. It, it creates the illusion of movement. Uh, and I don't know, it just, it just feels right, you know? Uh, I don't know if this stage is, is... I'm gonna test it for epilepsy, so... But, uh... Yeah, I think, uh... It's gonna be great, a uh, great... Great thing to fight, like, the final boss. Although, I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it, like, a stage that's... Only for the final boss because I've been thinking that fighting games, you know, they waste a lot of resources fighting games. Uh, you got like, like, yeah, you want some things to be like for the single player mode only, but like, you got, for example, I was thinking about Marvelous Capcom Infinite, uh, and they got like these characters in in the in the story mode, and you just can't play as, and I'm like, but why? Like, why can't you play as them in, in like, arcade mode, for fun? I guess because they're not part of the roster. I mean, arcade or or online somehow, multiplayer. Like, like that's a whole character right there. But that's a uh, topic for another day. We're not talking about Marvel today. We're talking about Warble. I mean, Wonder. So yeah, uh, those are mostly the stages that, that I've worked on the game so far. Uh, I want to do another video where where I discuss the characters that I made for it. Uh, but I think that's gonna be like for next month. This month, if you want to help me make this game, you don't have to give me money, you just... on the description you see a link and, and it works by it's x got at it's on game jolt so just by going on there and looking at my game right uh you're you're helping me make it so also tell me what's your what's your favorite fighting game stage our fighting game stage is important because i think a lot of people kind of don't care, and when you're playing, you sometimes kind of don't care. But, but, do you think that the fighting games should have like a lot of stages, or is it like, you know, because some of our favorite games don't have that many stages, right? And nobody's like, this game sucks, not enough stages. So, so look in the description, uh, follow the link, and. Uh, Help a brother out, and I'll see you next time.